Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here and today I'm going to be showing you the best way to start in Fallout 4. If you follow what I do, you will become incredibly overpowered and you can play on any difficulty you want. Now, I will be using exploits for this guide, but in the future, if these are patched, I apologize. But you can still follow this guide and you can still become overpowered. It's just going to take a little bit longer because you're not going to be able to use the exploits. And I highly recommend if you are watching this now, you should totally go and make a new file, do what I do in this video, save the game, and keep the file forever. That way, if you ever feel like playing the game again and you want to go ahead and load up a file and have some fun, you can load up this file at the beginning of the game and all the exploits have already been done, so you don't have to worry about not being able to do them again. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and get this started. I'm going to leave the vaults. I cut out all the rest of the crap because it's all boring. You can really take your time with this. I'm going to rush through it, but if you are playing it, you can take your sweet time. This really shouldn't take all that long if you rush like me. It's probably going to take me about an hour, where it might take you two to three hours, depending on your playstyle and how long you're actually taking. Now, if you're going to use exploits, don't worry about your special stats. The only one that you need to worry about is your intelligence. Make sure your intelligence is at one that is important. But let me go ahead and show you my legit build, what I normally would play with, just in case you're watching this and you have to play legit. Now, obviously, this is totally up to you on what you want to go for, depending on the build you want. If you want a melee build, you're going to want strength. But this is normally my legit build, just so that I can get the perks that I want early on in the game. And that's pretty much it. So, let's go ahead and accept this and get this started. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, well, I'm on the surface now. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and grab this crap. I really just want the stem packs, just in case I need them. Because you probably will need them. Anyway, we're going to make our way down to Sanctuary. If you want to take your sweet time there and actually do everything legit... Go right ahead. I'm going to be rushing through most of this, so I'm not going to talk to the robot. I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just going to move on, like, almost right away. But the main thing we're going to be doing is that we will be going home because there's something in the home I really want. And then I'm going to do the first exploit, the big one. The one that's going to take probably the most time out of anything I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to grab the book right here just because why the hell not? We're going to run into Sean's room, and down here, you're going to get the Your Special book. Now, you're going to want to go for Endurance if you're playing legit. In fact, you could actually go with a 6 lock, and then you can get the 1 point into Endurance if you want. That way, you can have a 3 Endurance to start. Now, I'm going to quickly just clear this house. I don't really have to do this right now, but I do plan on coming back and doing my exploit right here i could do it at the truck station but i normally like to do it right here because there's a lot of space and now we can move out so we're gonna run over to the truck station this is what you would do after you talk to the robot you would run down this way but we're not going to talk to him we're just going to run down here so i can get the dog once we have the dog we can then come back and at that point we will be good now there's another exploit you can do where you can actually go get a unique weapon from the vault using the dog. I guess I could show that, but at the same time, I really don't need to. Because it's a pretty cool weapon, but, you know, honestly, I don't really like it all that much. So that is something, and I wouldn't really recommend it. So, we're going to get better weapons, trust me. Once we get this going, we're going to have some really awesome armor, and we're going to have some really awesome weapons. Alright, let's talk to the doggy. Hi, doggy. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together. All right. Now that we have the dog, I'm going to access the workshop. And then I'm just going to get the hell out of here. So I'm going to go back to Sanctuary, and then I will do the glitch. Alright, now that I'm back, I'm going to be showing like how to do the glitch just because I see a lot of people mess this up, or at least they have a hard time doing it. And honestly, I always see people doing the same thing and why they mess up. So we're going to drop the book on the ground. You want to command the dog. Tell him to go far away so that he's not close to you. 
then tell him to get the right book, back. and then you want to highlight the book. Now, the second he comes into frame and he stops moving, once he stops moving and he's in the frame, wait about a half of a second and then pick up the book. If you do it like that, you should never mess it up, ever. Also, you might want to build yourself a container real quick, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to furniture, and then we're going to go over to containers. And any container will do. I'm going to make me a trunk just because there are a couple enemies here. So we do need to watch out for them. But it doesn't really matter. Okay, let me go ahead and pick up the book now. And I can start leveling stuff up. Now we're going to do it again. Now the reason why I built the container is because once you build up enough right. books, about six books or five books, you should start putting them away. Remember, as long as the dog is far away, that's what you need to do. And the second he stops moving, about a half second later, you're going to pick up the book. That's the main thing here. All right, so let's go ahead and drop all the books on the ground. And we're going to then continue to level up. This is going to take some time, guys. This is going to take about okay. maybe 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how fast you are. If you never mess it up, it's going to go by pretty quickly. But overall, this will take some time. Okay, that was a mistake. I did not mean to drop all three books. You only need to drop one at a time. Come and get it, boy. Once he stops moving, about a half second later, I pick it up. And, yeah, I never mess it up. Come on, spit it out for me, baby. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and drop all four on the ground. Yeah, the reason why you're going to be putting these away in the container is just because you don't want to be dropping too many at a time. It can be kind of annoying picking them up. So once you get to about five or six, you're just going to start putting them away. Okay, he stops moving. A half second later, I pick it up. Now he's going to spit it out. I swear to God, it's like he pukes it out. Every time he always yawns like he's about to puke or something. It's pretty fucking funny. Okay, we're going to drop all five on the ground now. And we're going to pick them back up. And we're going to continue to level up. The main thing here, you want to max everything out besides intelligence. You're going to leave that at one. I'm going to go over to the Your Special Books. I'm going to put four of them away and keep one in my inventory. And then I'm going to repeat this process until I am finished leveling up. All right, so this is going to be the final time of me doing this. I'm almost done. You really do want to be careful about not accidentally leveling up your intelligence. So you should be making some quick saves as you're doing this, especially as you're getting close to intelligence. Let me go ahead and drop all these on the ground now. And I will be careful to not level it up and go for agility. Now you might be wondering, why are we sticking with one intelligence? The reason is all because of one perk, Idiot Savant. It's going to be the very first thing we go for. And what it's going to do is that the lower your intelligence, the higher chance it has of procking or triggering. And it's going to, at first, give us times 3 XP on any XP that we get, potentially. And remember, it's a 12.5% chance. And what you can do with that is that before you turn in a quest, make a save and then just keep turning in the quest until you get it to trigger. And you're going to level up really quick if you do that, especially on quest turn-ins because you're talking about 1,500 or 1,800 or 2,000 XP you can get. Eventually, it's going to give us times 5 XP for turning in quests and doing random things. And then eventually, it's going to give us times 3 XP for combat for about a minute. So if there's a lot of enemies and you get that, you get so much XP, it is freaking insane. Now once you get to the right level that you're comfortable at, then you can go ahead and level up your intelligence. Now before we leave, there's one last thing I want to show here. If you guys want to go ahead and go in here and grab all the goodies, because there is some goodies in here. It's going to be behind this house over here, and it's a cellar, so you can go in there if you want and grab some of the stuff. Now doing this little trick with the book... You can actually get your stats to be even higher. I'll explain that in a moment, but the next place that we're going to be going, which is extremely important, is Bunker Hill. So we're going to be going southeast of Sanctuary. What you're looking for here is the water down here, and then there's a bridge right here. So zoom in a little bit and put your marker like right there, and we're going to follow that, and we're going to run all the way there. Now, I like to go east and then south because it's easier you won't pass as many landmarks if you do that. Every time you pass the landmark, there's a good chance there's going to be a lot of enemies and it's a problem. Now, you can actually get your stats to be really ridiculously high, at least four of the stats. You can get 
your perception up to 16, your intelligence up to 15, and this is forever, by the way. You can get your strength up to 13, and you can get your charisma up to 13. Now, if you want to know about intelligence, the way that that works is that you need to debuff yourself. Now, everything I just mentioned will come from drugs besides one, which is going to come from alcohol. And if you want to go ahead and get your intelligence up to 15, you have to go for one perk. And remember, you can do this later on because we're not going to be doing this early game because we don't care. And it's going to come from party boy slash party girl. The first effect will make it so that every time you drink alcohol, you will not be addicted to it. The second level of this will double the effect. There is a alcohol in the game. You can craft this alcohol. It's called Dirty Wastelander. And at first, it's going to minus your intelligence by two. Once you get the second level of this, it's going to be by four. You minus your intelligence by four so that your intelligence is six. You do the book trick, and then you're going to add another four intelligence to your build and then you can go ahead and get the intelligence bobblehead and that's 15 intelligence forever now the other ones will come from drugs one of the drugs is going to be called daddy -o. you can craft it or you can buy it from doctors another one of the drugs is called day tripper which is once again something you can buy or you can craft i'm going to quickly grab this stuff and then we're going to move on the final one, I'm pretty sure you have to craft. There's no way around it. And that one is called Fury. And I think you need Chemist Level 1 for that. So keep that in mind. But that's going to minus your Perception by 5. So once you minus that by 5, you can then level it up 5 points. And then once you get the Perception Bobblehead, you'll have 16. You don't want to grab any of the special Bobbleheads except for Luck. And you want to grab the one for endurance. That's it. Because you can't actually up your luck or endurance anything higher than 10. So feel free to go ahead and grab those bobbleheads. I'm not 100% on endurance. I was trying to figure out ways to debuff it. But I really couldn't. There are ways to minus it. But you can't actually do a little book trick to make it go higher forever. Now we're going to keep running this way. And I'm probably going to cut it ahead. And I'll show you anything cool I find along the way if you guys are interested. But for the most part, there's going to be nothing here that I'm going to find along the way. We have to watch out for different animals and stuff. So we got to be careful. But if I do find anything or I want to point something out, I will show you. But I'm just going to be running there this whole time. Alrighty, well, I'm coming up on something that is actually really important. This is a place that you should try to find if you can. This is going to be related to a quest later, so it doesn't matter if you find it now. A lot of times I like to avoid the areas because I don't normally want to find all the areas. Because what I like to do is when I find a new area and I'm not too sure about it, because I do know what is in most of the areas at this point of the game, but if there is an area I'm not too sure about, I'll go ahead and I'll look it up on the wiki and I'll see if there's any good loot in the area now if you come over here this is the med tech research station this is going to allow you to actually loot this brotherhood of steel guy and it's gonna start a quest as well there's gonna be a safe over here we can't pick that yet but there's gonna be some ammo here too so we're gonna grab all this stuff if I can give me that thank you let me show you this on the map because remember I was running East of Sanctuary, I found these locations. I don't think that there's anything amazing here. There is some power armor in this area, but it's not going to be worth it because you can get power armor pretty soon here in the main storyline. And this early in the game, the power armor is going to be all the same. It's going to be T45, so that is not necessary. But like I was saying, I was running southeast. And then once you get over to like this island part, you want to try to find this area first, which is going to be the med tech research place. And then we're going to loot this Brotherhood of Steel guy. Also, there is a hollow tape that he's going to have. We can listen to it real quick. I'm not going to, but you can go ahead and listen to that if you want to continue with that quest. And at this point, we're going to be looking for another place that is going to be really close to us. It's going to be... A military station so you need to look for the star on the map and this will be just east of this area so we're gonna keep running east now this is gonna throw us off a little bit because we're not really headed towards where we're trying to get to which is Bunker Hill instead we're coming over here now you might be wondering why are we running over here what's the point of this 
Well, this is related to another quest. In fact, it's related to that quest. And it's going to be related to a quest that we're going to get in Bunker Hill. So, now that we have the location found, we can come back no problem. Now, at this point, you can go ahead and make your way down to Bunker Hill. It's just right down there. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go northeast. And we're going to try to find a farm. This is actually really important if you want to get an actual good weapon to start the game. Now, will you be using this weapon? It all depends on your playstyle. If you like one-handed weapons, well, you're about to get one of the best one-handed weapons in the entire game. Unfortunately, you're not going to have any ammo, but that will not be an issue for long, so don't worry about that. You have to watch out. There's some robots over there, so we're just going to keep moving. But we're running for this farm, and once we find this place, I'm going to show you how to get a unique weapon which I've already made a guide about this, but you can get it right away in the game. It's just on the ground, as long as you know what you're doing. And if you like one-handed weapons, this is a weapon you'll probably enjoy a lot. Okay, so we just found the farm. Now you want to find the water. Let me go ahead and show you this on the map. So here's the farm, and remember this is northeast of where we're going, and there's some water here. If you look across, you can see a bunker. We're going to swim across, and we're going to get to that bunker. And then we're going to go inside and we're going to get this unique weapon. And it's a badass unique weapon. Let me open the door. There's some stuff in here that we can grab. So let's go ahead and grab all this stuff real quick. Just because why not? We can always sell it later. Although we really don't have to. Okay, you want to go into the pump house. Alright, now that I'm inside, we're going to come down the steps. Now you're going to notice that there's some buttons here. Also, there's going to be numbers up here. Now, if it says 1, that is just a glitch. It's actually on 0 right now. But if we look at the wall here, it's going to say 0451. That is our code. We need 10451. So let's go ahead and press the buttons. You can press the buttons really quickly to get it to go up faster. We are on 8. We need 2 more. We are on 10. Let's mess with this now. We need 4. And now we need 5. I just need three more. That should be four. Now five. Now that's the right code, but it's glitched. Sometimes it happens. So just press this button once, and the door should open. Now when you come in here, there's going to be a weapon. Hell yeah. This is a really good weapon, guys. You're not going to have any ammo, but that's really not a problem, because we're going to get some ammo in a second. Grab the fusion core. Grab all of this stuff. And now we can leave and continue. All right, well, I have made it to Bunker Hill, which is awesome. Let me show you on my map. It's right here, and this is really great because now we're going to have access to merchants, which is really important in the beginning of the game. Also, I'm going to level up. You will get a level coming here. That's almost guaranteed. You want to get Idiot Savant right away. For level 3, I recommend getting Armorer or Locksmith. Honestly, go for Locksmith. It's more useful. But you do want to start leveling up armor really early in the game. It's going to take a long time to level this up to 4 though. Now another perk that I'm sure some people are going to wonder about is Gun Nut. And they're also going to wonder about science and all these tech perks. Now eventually when you're higher level you will get these. But early on in the game you're not. So you might be wondering, well what are you going to do about mods if you want to make your guns better? Well, if you have merchants available to you, then what you can do is you go to a shop, you take a look at their inventory, and you check out their guns. Let's say you're trying to find a mod for a combat rifle. Look through their combat rifles, and then inspect them and see what mods are on those rifles. If you see one that you really like, buy the rifle, take the mod off, and replace it with your gun. That's how you do it. And you don't have to worry about stupid ass gun nut or science early on. Now there is a lady over there. When we approach her, she's going to talk to us. But I'm not going to approach her yet. There's also a quest here if you talk to this lady in the mechanic suit. So let's talk to this doctor. Because this is actually going to be really important to see what he has in his inventory. Hopefully, we can actually find some drugs that are going to help us so let's see what he has doesn't look like he has any drugs that i want right now but you do want to check doctors just in case they're selling things like day tripper or daddy o because remember if they have those in their inventory you should buy them and then exploit it by debuffing your stats doing the book glitch again 
and getting your stats even higher. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and check this lady out now. And what we're going to do here, we're going to do another exploit. She sells some pretty good stuff. And we definitely want the armor and we definitely want basically all the armor. That's the thing. She sells three pieces of legendary armor and she sells a pretty good gun too. So what you're going to do is this. You're going to buy her legendary stuff. You could be greedy and buy everything, but I don't recommend it. I'm just going to buy her legendary stuff. And look at that. I owe her 12,000 caps. Holy shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some ammo from her. And you should totally pick the most expensive ammo she has. And then you're going to sell back all but one bullet. And then you're going to sell back all of the bullets. And at this point, you still have one bullet up there. So now what you can do is you just tap the button. And you're going to start getting some of your money back. Now, once you build that up to about 100, I normally like to wait until it's 100. You could probably do it earlier, maybe at 50. I don't want to experiment yet, though, because I don't want it to mess up and I have to start over. You really can't fuck this up. By the way, not all merchants you can do this on. Only some. Well, most of them. Okay, once you have it built up, then what you can do is just go over to the ammo and just press the button on this and just keep doing that. And then, boom, I'm done. There you go. Now, if you want to build some caps, that is a great way to get some caps to buy other stuff. But at this point, we are done. We have our armor. We have our weapon. And we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and equip all this stuff right now. And we're going to be a lot stronger now in terms of defense. Also, I'm going to equip this gun since I have ammo for it. And we can pretty much move out. Now, here's the thing. There is a place I really want to go right this moment, but I'm going to wait on that because, see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Sanctuary, I'm going to build a bed, and I'm going to rest there for 48 hours. And then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to check out Bunker Hill again to see if there's any other merchants here I want to talk to because there are other ones I want to buy their legendary gear from. So I will see you guys in a moment. Well, alrighty, I am back at Bunker Hill, and now I can go ahead and mess with this other merchant. There's going to be three merchants here you really want to talk to. The lady in the mechanic outfit, Lucas, who is the guy in front of me, and Cricket. Because they are going to be the ones that are going to sell the best stuff. And if you're going to do this exploit, these are the people you want to buy this stuff from. So let's go talk to Lucas. He's going to have some really great armor for us, and it's going to really help a lot early on in the game so let's go ahead and buy all of that shit right now and there we go I owe him 25,000 naha 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 now we're gonna buy his ammo and we're gonna sell all but one bullet back to him now we're gonna sell all the bullets back to him and we're going to tap the button to build that up at this point I'm going to just try to see if I can do this right yeah it's working so you really don't have to build it up to 100. And you will notice that his shit is going down really quick. Look, he owes me 23,000 caps. Holy fuck. And now I am done. Now, of course, you can check the other merchants. If you want to wait 48 hours, that's fine. Because the thing is, is that all the merchants will restock. And if you want to get some money, you will maybe need a little bit of money. So you might want to actually do that. But I also want Cricket to spawn. The main thing about Cricket is that she's going to have a lot of ammo. And we're going to need that ammo to use some of our new toys. So I'm going to go back again. And honestly, I'm just going to go back to Sanctuary and then fast travel right back here. It takes about, I don't know, maybe 12 hours of game time to travel between Bunker Hill and Sanctuary. So more than likely, the merchants are going to swap out. But we will see. We will see. I will see you guys in a moment. All right, I'm back, and here's our final merchant that we actually want to interact with here, Cricket. She's going to have a lot of ammo for us and a really awesome gun, so let's go and buy that right now. Once we're done with her, we can actually go and do some more stuff. The only piece of armor I'm missing is a right arm, so that is something I will be getting. But let's go ahead and buy her gun. Now, one thing I was talking about before... Now, early on in the game, I really don't recommend doing this just because you're too low level. But as you level up, this will get better. 
check their inventories and then inspect their guns and see their mods if you see something on there that you want for a mod buy the gun and then replace whatever mod that is with whatever mod you want to replace it with and then put it on whatever gun you're trying to actually upgrade and that way you don't need gun nut so buy the spray in prey that is an amazing gun works really well i'm gonna check her armor out real quick don't really see anything I might buy that helmet since it does have some defense I'm gonna buy all this stuff and now I'm gonna buy all of her ammo she sells a shit ton of ammo and I think she sells fusion cores too which is fucking ridiculous the fact that you can get a ridiculous amount of fusion cores doing this and there we go now let's go ahead and sell her back some of this ammo one bullet and now all the bullets and we're going to build that up just a little bit. And now let's see if we can do the glitch. Okay, it looks like the glitch is working. So there we go. Now we are done and we can leave. Now I do want to go south of this location to find a couple areas. In fact, I'm probably not going to go there. But there is another area down here that you should find. It's Good Neighbor. There's a lot of good stuff in there. And one of the best companions will come from Good Neighbor. You can get a glitched companion perk. They might patch this in the future. But the companion perk is stupid. Because once you get the perk. You pretty much always have 95% headshot accuracy in VATS. It's really dumb. I'm assuming that they will patch that eventually. But he is the best companion to get early on in the game. Just so you can get that perk right away. And getting that perk is really easy. Because if you want him to idolize you, all you have to do is recruit him, find an area where you can steal a bunch of stuff, and then you want to steal something, he'll like that, you quick save it, you reload it, you steal something else, and you just keep doing that, and he will like you right away. You have to do some quests for him, but once you do the quest, you will get that perk, and you will always have a ridiculous accuracy in VATS. Now before we go down here, because there is something down here that's really important, because if we do it early on in the game, we can unlock a certain mod that's going to allow us to modify our outfits, like our clothes, and it's going to give us a lot more armor, pretty much making us unkillable. Now you're going to have to wait to make that much better with Armor 4, which we have to level up for that. So it's not super important going down there right now. But there is another area where I want to go buy some stuff. It's going to be down here in this area. So I'm going to fast travel, not to Sanctuary. I'm going to fast travel here and I'm going to head south. This is going to take a while because that is a really long run. But trust me, you really want to go down there so you can discover this area and get all the goodies from that area as well. So I will see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, well, I have made it here. Now, really, the only reason I came here was to discover it. Because the problem is, is that you cannot do the infinite cap glitch here for the merchant. The merchant sells some really good stuff here at Vault 81. And remember, this is south of Sanctuary. And as you're coming down, you can go ahead and grab these settlements just because you can actually get quests here as well. Later on, as you level up, a random event's gonna happen. And if you go back to Overland Station, you will see a surprise, but I'm not going to spoil it, just in case you're new to the game. Same with Vault 81. I'm not going to go in, because I don't want to spoil it for you guys if you haven't seen it yet. But there's a merchant here that will sell one of the best guns in the game. It's called the Overseer Guardian. It's a really great gun. Also, she sells some really great armor. Problem is, she can't do the infinite cap glitch with her, so you can't get it right now. Everything's probably too expensive. But if you do it with other merchants and you build up your money, you should have no problem buying all that stuff in here pretty soon. So we're not going to mess with that. Also, just a quick warning. When you go in there, there's a teacher. You want to talk to the teacher and you want to go ahead and tell the children a story. If you do that, you can get a skill book. For some reason, if you like leave the vault... It's really glitchy. Sometimes you'll come back and you can't talk to the teacher. So when you're in there initially, just make sure to go ahead and talk to the teacher and get that over with right away. That way it won't bug out on you. Another thing too, when you do talk to the merchant, do not ask her about her husband. Totally avoid it because later on in the game, if you want to recruit her husband as a level 4 merchant, 
you can do that. I have another video on that and about the level 4 merchants if you're interested. It is worth it in my opinion, but it is kind of a headache, so it's totally up to you what you want to do. Alright, but like I said, I really just came here to discover it because I will be buying that gun. That is a very important gun to buy. I think it's 4,000 caps, so I'm going to have to go ahead and build up my caps and then I will come back for that. The armor is really good too. Okay, we're going to go back to Bunker Hill and then we're going to start heading south because there's going to be places that we need to find. So, I will see you guys in a moment. Alright, well I am back at Bunker Hill. And now we need to head south. Remember to go to Good Neighbor. Good Neighbor is like right here. And when you find that place, you want to head into the bar to recruit that companion. Right now, his companion perk is glitch. It's really well worth it. It's easy to level him up. You only have to pay him like 200 caps or 250 caps if you want to recruit him. And yeah, it's really, really awesome. Now, in the future, that probably will be patched. So watch out for that. But he is still worth getting just because his companion perk is really nice. Okay, we're going to be headed in that direction. So let's turn around and head south. This is pretty straightforward. But we're going to unlock one of the factions. So this is going to be a little bit of a spoiler. I'm not going to spoil it though. I'm going to unlock it and I'll show you. And then I will end this because this is pretty much all the tips. Also... When you come down this way, you're going to get a radio station, so you can listen to that, and that will start a quest. I recommend it. Okay, now we're going to try to find this house because it is related to a quest, so anytime you find something that is related to a quest, I always just find it because I know I'm going to be coming back anyway. Should be just right over here. Now, we need to go east from this position. I just leveled up. I'm probably going to put that into Locksmith. There's other things I can get. I can maybe go for Commando because of the Spray and Prey and then eventually the Overseer Guardian. I'm going to try to avoid discovering all these other locations. And this is the building right here. This is the Old North Church. Now before we actually go in there, I'm going to show you something else. This is going to be for later though. If you're going to use this build with one intelligence and you're going to do a little exploit where you save the game and then reload the game when you're turning in quests, you're going to level up quick. Got to watch out for these guys. Uh-oh. Not good. Okay, that was awesome. Let me keep moving. Shun of a bitch. Anyway, like I was saying, if you're going to do the exploit, you're going to level up quick. Once you are level 28 or 29, I say fuck it. Wait until you're level 30 just to be safe and also make a save. You want to come back to this location. This is the Custom House Tower. From this position, you're going to head west, down this street. And when you head this way, there's going to be some bad guys and stuff, so I'm going to quickly take them out. As you can see, this gun freaking wrecks. You're looking for this building, 31 Court. Once you find that building, at the very top, there's going to be a set of power armor. It is the best power armor in the game if you wait until you're level 30, and it's a full set. So, definitely go and get that at level 30. Trust me, it's well worth it. Okay, let's go back to the church. And now we're going to go inside. And I will show you what you need to do to actually go ahead and unlock this faction. I'm not going to show any of it because I don't want to spoil it. But let's go inside. Alright, well I'm inside now. There's going to be some enemies in here, but honestly, you don't really have to mess with them. You can if you want to. I'm going to take them out just because they're pretty weak. We need to head down this way. This is like the basement area. And we're going to keep going down. There's going to be a couple more enemies down here, so watch out. Oh, here we go. Die, you son of a bitch. And I think there's going to be one more. Here he is. And I think that's it for enemies. So now we can go ahead and open the door. There was another one. Okay, you're going to find this. Now you're going to need the password for this. The password for this is Railroad. So you need to spell that out. Now you can actually turn this either counterclockwise or clockwise. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to turn it counterclockwise. To get to R, and then we're going to press the button. Now I'm going to keep turning it counterclockwise so I can get to A. 
And then from there, I should have no problem getting to the rest of it for what I need because it's all in that word right there. So we're gonna turn it again, go ahead and press the button again, turn it again, press the button again. Now I'm gonna go clockwise so I can get R because I have to do road. Oops, I messed up. Be careful about that arrow, make sure it's on the right letter. All right, so now we're going to go I guess I'll go clockwise to get to O, and then I'll go counterclockwise to get back to A, and then I need to get back to D. So let's move over to A, and now I'm going to find D. So let's spin this over here. Be careful about pressing the button multiple times because if you do, it's going to go crazy. So it's up to you how you want to do it. If your thing is really far away, go ahead and press it a lot. But if you press it too much when it's close, you're going to miss it. And there we go. Now the door should open and we're going to discover this hidden faction. Once you do like four or five quests for these guys, you're going to get this mod I was talking about, which is an amazing mod. You can pretty much modify your outfits and it's going to give you some really high armor rating. You can put it on survival mode and honestly, you'll probably never die. And there's really no better armor until you're going to get some really high level power armor later on in the game. That's the only armor that's going to be better than what you can get from this mod. Anyway guys, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show. But yeah, if you do all this stuff, you will be super overpowered. Trust me. I mean, this is the best way to start the game for sure. Obviously, a lot of these exploits are going to be patched in the future, but still, like I said, it's going to take longer if you were playing legit, but if you have those areas, honestly, my first two playthroughs of this game, I played it legit, and when I did that, I just would pick up everything from every dead body, and I would go to Bunker Hill, and I would sell all the stuff, and in no time, I had a lot of money, and then I was able to buy a lot of the really great stuff. The very first weapon I would recommend to buy, legitly, is either the Overseer Guardian or the Spray and Pray, because those weapons are great. Anyway, I would really appreciate it if you could like this video for me. Be sure to favorite it as well, and subscribe for future videos. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day, and peace